Okay, let's uh, let's see what we can do about getting all the notes for this week on here. Pull them up right here. And, you know, I'm just gonna say all of them. All right, hopefully it will uh, load on up. There it is. All right, so uh, soldiers, reformers, frontiers, and volunteers. Uh, you know, they're not. In other words, they're not uh, professional soldiers. They, they didn't have any money. They didn't have clothes to wear. Good clothes. They didn't have enough guns. Not enough ammunition. Nice place to camp. It was cold. Didn't have shoes. Everything you need in this war, they didn't have. All right, so they're the underdogs. This is a ragtag group. Uh, wet conditions, no, no pay. The, like the government didn't have the power to tax. You know, we're mad about taxes. Um, so Washington won their trust by risk, risking his life in battle. You know, he was, he was the, he may be our greatest general. All right, um, they lost more battles than they won. Washington lost more battles than he won. Uh, but he was kind of keeping it, everything together. Uh, and over time, they become a professional army. Remember, like Baron von Steuben that helped them with that. All right. Uh, so, hey, you can look at that for a second. All right, then I'm going to keep on going. Like, this was our four and our five. So, Cornwallis... Uh, fights in the South. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. Did we get some on Saratoga? Let's see what we got. Let me go down here just for a second. Here we go. All right. So uh, we're going on down a little bit. All right. Uh, and so they're fighting in New York. So like the the generals are Burgoyne. He's the British guy. Uh, and Arnold. And Burgoy wanted to isolate the Continental Army in New England. So if you look right there, like, I mean, uh, there's Boston, that's New York. So notice how, you know, I mean, Boston is east of New York. New England is east of New York, west, you know, New York's basically west of New England, rather than being, New England being north. Um, and so the British felt like if they could control all of New York, they were going to control uh, New England. But remember, the, you know, that didn't happen. There we go. That's, all right. Uh, and so Cornwallis is the guy who invades the South. So they, they didn't get New England. So then they invade the South. Uh, and so they're hoping to benefit from, because there's a lot of loyalists in the South. All right, well, the fighting was real rough. Uh, the general in the south was the fighting Quaker, Nathaniel Green. Um, and Cornwallis heads up into Virginia, and he's hoping to be supplied in Yorktown, which is on the coast, by the British Navy, but instead the, the French Navy shows up. So then he's got Washington fighting on his front, French Navy at his back. Uh, and so uh, Cornwallis that says Yorktown. Cornwallis was so embarrassed, he sent a substitute to surrender to Washington. He didn't show up himself. The band played the world turned upside down. All right, so there's, there's the end of the war. Okay, let's go. Let's take a look then at the treaty that ends the war. Franklin is negotiating Adams. So you see those two guys again. He, he, he got uh, John Jay. Uh, and the terms of it is we're independent and we're bigger. Uh, so it's sending all the Great Lakes, Holmes. Remember, he ran Ontario, Michigan, Erie, Sapir, and also to the Mississippi River. So doubles the size of the country. Um, Uh, you know, the thing we gave to the British that we weren't going to be mean to the loyalists. You know, there was three years where we were just going to take all the loyalists and, like, kill them. Okay. So then the next, so you got a couple of things. You got the revolution and demographics. Uh, so Crispus Attucks, we know he got killed. There's the picture of him in, like, the, the Civil War version of the Boston Massacre. After the war, Northern State, although... African Americans were more likely to fight on the British side. After the war, northern states gradually emancipated slaves. It took about 50 years, but by the 1820s, there were very few slaves in the North. All right, women made clothes. They fought in the war. Molly Pitcher is the name of this lady who fought 
uh, loading a cannon for her husband in the war. Most of the Indians will fight on the British side because they're trying to protect their land. So it's like a what a, an American scout there that the guy's taking for the British. All right. So then the next topic is going to be our first plan for government. It's called the Articles of Confederation. So it's going to be weak government, strong state governments. Um, so here's what it could do. It could make laws, raise armies, declare war, sign treaties. But there's like an asterisk on all of them. Uh, to make laws, you need nine, nine states to raise armies and declare war. You need states to send troops. And states could sign treaties too. Um, what it couldn't do is, is, is no rest. Couldn't regulate trade, enforce laws, sell disputes, or tax. Tax is going to be the big one. Okay, 9 13 states need to pass a law. If you're going to give the government more power, uh, you needed all 13 states. Now, it did set up the Northwest Ordinance, which set up the process for adding states. You get 60,000 people in a territory, they become state. All right, so they organized the West. And once it was organized, it could be part of the country. Uh, the land ordinance set up towns. Uh, each town had to have a public school. Um, 5,000 people, former government, 60,000 former state. Ohio was the first admitted. 37 states were admitted uh, using this process, and it was also an anti slavery law. So match that up. Okay, Shades Rebellion, you got all these um, war heroes come back home to Massachusetts and they lost their land after the war. So they get all mad and they're taking over the courthouse, breaking into jail, busting out their buddies, and they're marching on Boston. Uh, so a bunch of angry, angry farmers. All right, uh, so the Massachusetts militia put down the government, but the national government couldn't do anything about it, so the conclusion is that the government's too weak. So they had a meeting in Annapolis to discuss problems. Hardly anybody showed up. Uh, so they call another meeting in Philadelphia. All right, uh, and don't worry about the numbers before. So, you know, sometimes they were on a Monday, sometimes they weren't. So they have another meeting in Philadelphia to discuss change of the articles. 12, 13 states send somebody this time. Madison ends up being the father of the Constitution, so he proposes the Virginia plan, which creates a strong three-branch government. It's also known as the big state plan. The more people a state has, the more representation it's going to have. So the New Jersey plan wanted to keep the articles and just give it a little more power, also say that all states w would be equal. Uh, so the Great Compromise is going to create uh, this bicameral legislature with the House, which is based on the big state plan, the Senate is based on the small state plan. Slave trade compromise is going to say you're counting three of every five slaves for representation. Uh, the slave trade compromise says you keep the slave trade for another 20 years. Okay. And that is probably... Let's do like a... Let's do like one more heading here. All right, so Federalists were people who supported the Constitution, and I know Federalists felt like it was giving the government too much power. Uh, so the Federalist Papers are written by these three guys, Madison, Hamilton, and Jay, to win support for the Constitution. Uh, and in Federalist 10, Madison's going to argue that the cure for faction is large or public, so you spread the factions out. Uh, in Federalist 51, he's got this real uh, famous quote, if men were angels, no government would be necessary. If angels were government men, neither internal or external controls would be necessary. In other words, uh, people are not perfect, so you need a strong government, but our leader's not perfect either, so you need elections and like checks and balances on them. And yeah, that's it. We're going to stop right there. Okay, that was probably, I bet it was 15 minutes. I bet I got done in 15 minutes. Let's see.